The sport of golf was first introduced to Sri Lanka back in 1879, when a group of British expats decided that it was about time they brought the game to the then British colony, which was known as Ceylon. The Royal Colombo Golf Club was established, and the sport began to spread throughout the land. For many decades, the Royal Colombo Golf Club was home to only a select few. It's often said sport can transcend cultural differences and bring people together, but with regards to golf in Sri Lanka, this took many years to achieve. When I first started playing golf, it was difficult to find a golf club. Even a ball was difficult to get hold of, and they cost about 50 cents each at the time. So in the beginning, I used branches as a club, and I just kept playing and playing. In the 1960s, they wouldn't let us come to this golf club here in Colombo, so we used to just play in the fields and in the wild. And it's by doing that that I eventually became a successful golfer. Nandasena Pereira was Sri Lanka's first native professional golfer, and he rose through the ranks despite the adversity that he faced. Nandasena was born in 1955, during the period of time when the country was readjusting to life after British colonial rule. In the days when I used to play with a mango branch, we weren't allowed to come to this golf course. They were very selective on who they allowed in. Nowadays, though, golf's popularity is a lot more widespread here, and anyone can come and play at the club. Nandasena turned professional at the relatively late age of 36. His career highlights include a silver medal at the 1990 Asian Games and victory at both the Sabah Masters and the New Zealand Open. Unfortunately, his professional career was short-lived, partly due to his relentless training regime, which included hitting over 2,000 balls a day. My professional career should have been longer, but I only played for two years because I suffered from rheumatoid arthritis. In 1991, at the beginning of his brief professional career, Nandesina had to travel long distances from his home every day just to practice at the Royal Colombo Golf Club. However, all that changed after a meeting with the then president of Sri Lanka, Rana Singh Prima Dasa. Because I was doing so well in golf, the president invited me for a visit. When I saw him, I asked if I could have somewhere to live near the club. At the time, I didn't have a house of my own, and I wanted a place near the course so that I could just focus on my golf and train hard every single day. Less than two years after providing Nandasena with a house near the golf club, President Ranasinghe was assassinated by the Tamil Tigers as the country slipped further into a bitter civil war. His act of goodwill in a presidency blighted by controversial decisions certainly helped Nandasena progress in his sport. So here we are in my trophy room and down here is my Asian Games silver medal. Having had such a short professional career, the 61-year-old cherishes his memories. His hopes of putting Sri Lanka firmly on the golfing map seemed dashed. But little did Nandasena or the former president know that the gift of the house near the golf course would help to nurture the career of another golfer. Because the president gave me the house, Sri Lanka has not just one successful golfer, they also have my son. You've seen my dad's trophy room, but mine is bigger and better. 
<laughs> Nandasena's son is 29-year-old Mithun Pereira. He's become the first Sri Lankan to have full status on the Asian tour. Mithun's best results include a third-place finish at last year's Hero Indian Open, where he was up against the likes of Jeev Milka Singh and Miguel Angel Jimenez. I gain a lot of experience when I play some events on a European tour, because the conditions are very different to what I'm used to. Also, I get the chance to really test myself against some of the best players around. Standing at 5 foot 4 inches, Mithun lacks some of the power that a number of his rivals possess. However, similar to his golfing idol, he's blessed with a deft short game. My favourite golfer has to be Tiger Woods, simply because of what he's done for golf. Even people in the villages here know who Tiger Woods is. He's done a huge amount for the game. His style of play, at his best, is something that I try to model my style on. Some of the shots he has played, I think every golfer will remember for life. He's a legend. Mithun and his father may share a love of the game, but they don't agree on who the greatest player of all time is. Hailing from a different generation, Nandasena believes that the man known as the Golden Bear is the king of the sport. Out of all the players, Jack Nicklaus's game is the one I like to watch the most. From what I've seen, I think he's undoubtedly the best golfer that the world has ever seen. People now like Tiger Woods, but then they say that Tiger Woods is no good anymore. For me, Jack Nicklaus has always been number one. Jack Nicklaus is the number one. Hey Dad, we have a challenge. Okay. We'll hit the balls. Board, take it a point. So we have ten balls. With Jack high. Nicklaus had a son, Gary, who was also a professional golfer. The Pereiras and the Nicholases make up a select group of families where both father and son have been pros in the sport. And like Jack Nicholas, Nandasena has coached his son from an early age and has been instrumental in his success. I'm very lucky to have my father coach me. He gives me his love as both my dad and my coach. I can talk to him about anything. And our close bond has helped me on the golf course too. He passes on all his experience to me. He tells me what I need to do and what not to do. It's down to our relationship as to why I have so little mental stress and why I am so stable and focused on the course. Mithun is admirably carrying on the Pereira family tradition in the sport, yes. as his father watches him <laughs> proudly. Thanks, Dad. <laughs> Rings on you. 